So today I'm doing the maiden flight with my Parrot Disco 4G mod installed and basically what it does, it routes the connection from the Sky Controller via a tethering device, which is my mobile phone, through the 4G network to the Disco and therefore the Disco needs this modem right here. Well, for, for more information check out ufpal.com, they did an amazing job with this mod right there. So, see you in a bit. So let's check the wind map and yeah you can see we have a little bit of crosswind right there but it, it should be okay. Yeah not too much so let's get it on. Let's power up the controller. Let's make sure that the hotspot is turned on. So go up to about 100 meter. And then we should get the confirmation message from the from the Paradisco that it has connected to 4G. Here it is. So we can check this out in Glimpse. And yes. Here it is. So tracking is available. And therefore we can now switch to 4G. Yeah, it has connected. It's trying to make a connection. And here it is. It takes a while for the image to show up. I can control it manually now and stop the return home. And here it is. Here's the image. So, seems to work. Let's go over to the Danube. Oh, a little bit of break up here. Just cruise along along the river. Yeah, latency about the same as with a direct connection. Just look up a little bit. Sure that I'm recording. Let's 
So I started a bit with short battery because at the first two times it didn't connect to the 4G network. I don't know why. But now it seems to work. That's awesome. A little bit windy, but it can handle it. Nah, it's amazing. You can clearly see it drifting a little bit. That's yeah, beautiful. Let's fly across. Yeah, it's definitely fighting the wind a little bit here. Yeah, but the connection is working flawlessly. It's amazing. Yeah, we're down to about 59% battery. We started about 
I guess 75. But we're definitely fighting the wind right here. So going back would be a lot easier. So about three kilometers out there, still going fine. Farmer right there. That's awesome.
Let's go to about five kilometers and then return to home. So let's do not risk something here. about six kilometers. Six kilometer mark. So let's return to home right now. I press the button and it should be returning in a straight line now. So it should be a lot faster than, than going upwards. <laughs> As you can see it's going back a lot faster because we're not fighting the wind anymore.
three and a half kilometers to go and still 44% battery so we should be fine So yeah, as we still have 40% battery left, I think I'm taking over again right now. Whoops. Ah, it went into loiter mode. Just wondered why it was circling. So, let's throttle up a bit. Ah, the speed is amazing. Yeah, about 30 meters per second. Yeah, it's taking up battery quite fast when going this fast. So we're down to about 30%. about 1.2 kilometers away right now so I'm switching back to direct connection because for landing the coverage here is a bit weak so let's switch back and wait for it to reconnect And here it is. So st stop returning home and switch to manual control. Yeah, I can see it. And hit land. Ah, oh, awesome.
So guys, that's it for today. And yes, definitely check out uofpal.com. They did an amazing job. Works fantastic. See ya.